In Julia Cameron's The Artist's Way, we embark on a transformative journey to unleash our creativity and reclaim our artistic spirit. The book serves as a guide for artists, writers, musicians, and anyone seeking to ignite their creative spark. Cameron believes that each of us has a wellspring of creativity within, waiting to be tapped into and expressed. Throughout the introduction, she introduces the concept of the creative recovery process, emphasizing the importance of nurturing our inner artist and overcoming the obstacles that hinder our creative flow. Cameron invites us to embark on a 12-week program that involves a series of exercises, activities, and reflections designed to unblock our creative channels. She explores the concept of morning pages, a practice where we write three pages of stream-of-consciousness thoughts every morning to clear our minds and access our creative depths. Additionally, she introduces the concept of artist dates, encouraging us to engage in regular solo adventures to replenish our creative well. As the introduction unfolds, Cameron shares personal anecdotes, testimonials, and insights from her own artistic journey. She emphasizes the power of self-discovery, self-acceptance, and self-care in nurturing our creative selves. By delving into the introduction of the artist's way, we are set on a path of self-exploration and growth, ready to reclaim our artistic birthright and live a more fulfilling, creative life. Chapter 1. Spiritual Electricity – The Basic Principles in the opening chapter, Cameron introduces us to the concept of spiritual electricity as the driving force behind our creative energy. She delves into the idea that creativity is not merely a superficial talent but rather a powerful force that connects us to something greater than ourselves. Cameron emphasizes the importance of acknowledging our inherent creativity and nurturing our artistic spirit as a means of self-discovery and personal growth. As we dive deeper into the chapter, Cameron outlines the basic principles that form the foundation of the book and the creative recovery process. She encourages us to let go of self-doubt, criticism, and perfectionism that often hinder our creative expression. Instead, she urges us to embrace the notion that creativity is a spiritual practice, a channel through which we can connect with our authentic selves and the world around us. Through anecdotes and insights from her own creative journey, Cameron inspires us to tap into our creative wellspring and trust in our innate ability. By embracing the principles of spiritual electricity, we open ourselves up to the transformative power of creativity, allowing it to guide and shape our lives in profound ways. Chapter 2 The Basic Tools In Chapter 2, Cameron equips us with the essential tools necessary for our creative recovery journey. She introduces two primary tools that will become our allies on the path to unlocking our creative potential, morning pages and artist dates. Morning pages involve writing three pages of stream-of-consciousness thoughts every morning, acting as a form of brain dump and creative clearing. Through this practice, we release any mental clutter or negative thoughts that may be blocking our creative flow. It becomes a powerful tool for gaining clarity, accessing our inner truths, and discovering new insights about ourselves. On the other hand, artist dates are dedicated solo excursions we embark on each week to nurture our inner artists. These dates are a commitment to ourselves, allowing us to indulge in activities and experiences that inspire and rejuvenate us. Whether it's visiting an art gallery, exploring nature, or trying a new hobby, artist dates provide the space for us to explore our passions and connect with our creative inspiration. Cameron emphasizes the importance of consistency and commitment to these tools, viewing them as non-negotiable practices that support our creative well-being. By incorporating morning pages and artist dates into our daily lives, we establish a solid foundation for our creative recovery journey, fostering self-discovery, self-expression, and creative growth. Chapter 3. Week 1 Recovering a Sense of Safety In Week 1, Cameron guides us through the process of recovering a sense of safety in our creative lives. She understands that creativity can often be vulnerable, and that we may have experienced past traumas or judgments that have stifled our artistic expression. This chapter serves as a gentle invitation to confront those fears and create a safe space for our creativity to flourish. Cameron delves into the various fears and doubts that often hinder our artistic expression and explores the concept of creative wounds. Through a series of exercises, reflections, and affirmations, she encourages us to confront and address the limiting beliefs and past experiences that have created blocks in our creative journey. The chapter emphasizes the importance of self-compassion and creating a safe container for our creativity. Cameron guides us in identifying the sources of our creative fears and exploring ways to overcome them. By nurturing a sense of safety and self-acceptance, we create an environment conducive to creative exploration and experimentation. Week 1 sets the tone for the rest of the 12-week program, laying the groundwork for a deeper understanding of ourselves as artists and opening the door to renewed creative freedom. 
To the artist's way, Cameron not only provides practical tools and techniques for unleashing our creativity but also invites us on a transformative journey of self-discovery and personal growth. By embracing the principles of spiritual electricity, utilizing the basic tools of morning pages and artist dates, and engaging in the weekly exercises, we embark on a path of creative recovery that leads us to uncover our true potential as artists. Chapter 4 Week 2 Recovering a Sense of Identity In Week 2, Cameron guides us on a journey of recovering a sense of identity as artists. She recognizes that many of us may have lost touch with our true creative selves due to societal expectations, past experiences, or self-doubt. This chapter serves as a catalyst for reconnecting with our artistic identity and reclaiming our unique voice. Cameron prompts us to reflect on our creative past, uncovering the moments and influences that sparked our passion for art. Through a series of exercises, she encourages us to rediscover our artistic interests, explore different creative mediums, and give ourselves permission to pursue what truly resonates with us. By embracing our creative identity and honoring our artistic inclinations, we tap into a deep well of inspiration and authenticity. Week 2 sets the stage for a more profound exploration of our creative selves and acts as a stepping stone towards a more fulfilling and purposeful artistic journey. Chapter 5 Week 3 Recovering a Sense of Power in week 3, Cameron focuses on recovering a sense of power in our creative lives. She acknowledges that many artists struggle with feelings of powerlessness, whether it be due to external circumstances or internal self-sabotage. This chapter serves as an empowering guide to reclaiming our creative authority and stepping into our own artistic power. Cameron encourages us to recognize our creative strengths and acknowledge the impact of our artistic contributions. She emphasizes the importance of setting boundaries, saying no to distractions, and prioritizing our creative endeavors. Through a series of exercises, she guides us in identifying and overcoming the obstacles that have held us back from fully embracing our creative potential by embracing our innate power as artists. And taking ownership of our creative journey, we tap into a limitless reservoir of inspiration and possibility. Week 3 serves as a pivotal moment of empowerment, igniting a newfound sense of confidence and allowing us to step boldly into our creative pursuits. Chapter 6 Week 4 Recovering a Sense of Integrity In Week 4, Cameron explores the theme of recovering a sense of integrity in our creative lives. She emphasizes the importance of aligning our actions and choices with our artistic values and aspirations. This chapter serves as a call to authenticity urging us to live and create in alignment with our true selves. Cameron prompts us to reflect on the ways in which we may have compromised our creative integrity in the past. She guides us in identifying and addressing any conflicts between our artistic goals and external pressures or expectations. Through a series of exercises and reflections, she encourages us to make conscious choices that honor our artistic vision and values. By reclaiming our integrity as artists, we cultivate a deeper sense of self-respect and fulfillment. Week 4 acts as a catalyst for creative growth and allows us to create from a place of authenticity and personal truth. These chapters offer valuable insights and practical exercises that guide us towards reclaiming our artistic identity, embracing our power, and living with integrity as we embark on a transformative journey of creative recovery. Chapter 7 Week 5 Recovering a Sense of Possibility In Week 5, Cameron invites us to explore and recover a sense of possibility in our creative lives. She recognizes that limiting beliefs and a lack of belief in our own potential can hinder our creative growth. This chapter serves as a catalyst for expanding our horizons, embracing new perspectives, and unlocking the limitless possibilities that lie within us. Cameron encourages us to challenge our self-imposed boundaries and explore different avenues of creative expression. Through a series of exercises, she prompts us to engage in playful experimentation, embrace curiosity, and foster a sense of wonder by stepping outside our comfort zones and embracing the unknown. We tap into the wellspring of creativity that resides within us. Week 5 acts as a pivotal moment of transformation, enabling us to break free from self-imposed limitations and embrace a mindset of boundless creativity. By cultivating a sense of possibility, we open ourselves up to new opportunities, discoveries, and artistic breakthroughs. Chapter 8 Week 6 Recovering a Sense of Abundance in week 6, Cameron focuses on recovering a sense of abundance in our creative lives. She acknowledges that scarcity mentality can often hinder our artistic endeavors and lead to feelings of creative blockage. This chapter serves as a guide to shifting our perspective and embracing a mindset of abundance. Cameron encourages us to recognize and appreciate the abundance of creative resources, ideas, and inspiration that surround us. She prompts us to cultivate a sense of gratitude for the opportunities, experiences, and support that contribute to our artistic growth. 
Through a series of exercises and reflections, she guides us in releasing scarcity thinking and embracing a mindset of abundance. By shifting our focus from lack to abundance, we tap into a limitless well of creative energy and possibility. Week 6 acts as a transformative chapter that allows us to cultivate a deep sense of gratitude and abundance in our creative journey, opening the door to new creative heights. Chapter 9 Week 7 Recovering a Sense of Connection in week 7, Cameron emphasizes the importance of recovering a sense of connection in our creative lives. She recognizes that the creative process can sometimes feel isolating, and a lack of connection can hinder our artistic growth. This chapter serves as a reminder of the power of community, collaboration, and connection in nurturing our creative spirit. Cameron encourages us to seek out and cultivate supportive creative communities, whether through joining groups, attending workshops, or connecting with fellow artists. She highlights the value of sharing our artistic journey, seeking feedback, and learning from others. Through a series of exercises, she prompts us to explore ways to foster connection and collaboration in our creative endeavors. By embracing a sense of connection, we tap into the collective energy and inspiration of like-minded individuals. Week 7 acts as a bridge that brings us closer to the vibrant creative community around us, enriching our artistic journey and providing the support and encouragement we need to thrive. These chapters offer valuable insights and practical exercises that guide us towards embracing possibility, abundance, and connection in our creative lives. They serve as stepping stones on our journey of creative recovery, empowering us to break free from limitations, embrace new perspectives, and tap into the boundless well of creativity within us. Chapter 10 Week 8 Recovering a Sense of Strength In Week 8, Cameron directs our focus towards recovering a sense of strength in our creative lives. She acknowledges that pursuing a creative path requires resilience and inner fortitude. This chapter serves as a guide to cultivate inner strength, overcome obstacles, and persevere in the face of challenges. Cameron encourages us to reflect on our past achievements and creative breakthroughs, reminding us of our inherent strength and resilience. Through a series of exercises and reflections, she prompts us to identify the sources of our inner strength and develop strategies to tap into that strength during times of doubt or adversity. By reclaiming our sense of strength, we build a solid foundation that allows us to navigate the ups and downs of the creative journey. Week 8 acts as a source of inspiration and empowerment, reminding us of our capacity to overcome obstacles and embrace our creative power. Chapter 11 Week 9 Recovering a Sense of Compassion In Week 9, Cameron guides us on a journey to recover a sense of compassion in our creative lives. She recognizes that self-criticism and judgment can stifle our artistic expression and block our creative flow. This chapter serves as a gentle reminder to cultivate self-compassion and treat ourselves with kindness and understanding. Cameron prompts us to examine our self-talk and the way we treat ourselves as artists. Through a series of exercises and reflections, she encourages us to replace self-criticism with self-compassion, acknowledging that mistakes and setbacks are a natural part of the creative process. She guides us in embracing our imperfections, learning from our experiences, and offering ourselves the same level of kindness and support we would extend to others. By cultivating self-compassion, we create an environment that nurtures our creativity and allows us to take risks and explore new artistic territories. Week 9 acts as a pivotal chapter in our creative recovery journey, fostering a sense of acceptance, forgiveness, and love towards ourselves as artists. Chapter 12 Week 10 Recovering a Sense of Self-Protection In Week 10, Cameron focuses on the theme of recovering a sense of self-protection in our creative lives. She acknowledges that creative individuals are often sensitive to external influences and can be susceptible to criticism or negativity. This chapter serves as a guide to establish healthy boundaries and protect our artistic endeavors. Cameron prompts us to reflect on the external influences that may have affected our creative confidence and self-expression. Through a series of exercises and reflections, she encourages us to set boundaries, surround ourselves with supportive people, and engage in self-care practices that shield our creative spirit. By reclaiming our sense of self-protection, we create a nurturing environment that allows our creativity to thrive. Week 10 serves as a reminder to prioritize our creative well-being, shield ourselves from negativity, and create space for our artistic voice to be heard. Before we continue, we would like to inform you that we release these summaries in audio format on Spotify before we release them on YouTube in video format with subtitles. Thank you for the support and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons. Chapter 13 Week 11 Recovering a Sense of Autonomy in week 11, Cameron explores the theme of recovering a sense of autonomy in our creative lives. She recognizes the importance of taking ownership of our artistic journey and asserting our individuality. 
This chapter serves as a guide to embrace our unique artistic voice and make choices that align with our creative vision. Cameron prompts us to reflect on the external influences that may have influenced our creative choices and stifled our authentic expression. Through a series of exercises and reflections, she encourages us to reclaim our autonomy, trust our instincts, and make decisions that align with our artistic values. By embracing our autonomy as artists, we step into a position of power and agency over our creative journey. Week 11 acts as a catalyst for asserting our individuality, making bold artistic choices, and embracing the freedom to express ourselves authentically. Chapter 14 Week 12 Recovering a Sense of Faith In the final week, Cameron guides us on a journey to recover a sense of faith in our creative lives. She recognizes that sustaining a creative practice requires trust and belief in ourselves and our artistic abilities. This chapter serves as a reminder to cultivate unwavering faith in our creative journey. Cameron prompts us to reflect on the ways in which we may have doubted our creative path in the past. Through a series of exercises and reflections, she encourages us to release self-doubt, embrace uncertainty, and trust in the creative process. She guides us in developing rituals and practices that strengthen our faith and maintain our creative momentum. By cultivating a sense of faith, we embrace the unknown with open arms, knowing that creativity is a journey of continuous growth and discovery. Week 12 acts as a transformative chapter, allowing us to release any lingering doubts and step into a future filled with creative possibility. Creativity Contract The creativity contract serves as a commitment to ourselves and our artistic journey. It is a personal agreement to prioritize and nurture our creative well-being. Through this contract, we affirm our dedication to ongoing self-discovery, self-expression, and creative growth. It acts as a reminder of the importance of maintaining our creative practices and staying connected to our artistic spirit. Epilogue, the artist's way, words for it? In the epilogue of the artist's way, Julia Cameron reflects on the transformative journey we have undertaken throughout the book. She offers final words of encouragement, celebrating our growth, resilience, and newfound sense of creative freedom. Cameron reminds us that the creative journey is an ongoing process, and the insights gained from the artist's way will continue to resonate and guide us in our artistic pursuits. The epilogue serves as a beautiful conclusion to the book, inspiring us to embrace our artist's way and continue nurturing our creative spirit long after we've completed the 12-week program. It acts as a reminder that creativity is a lifelong journey, and we have the power to unleash our creative potential and lead a more fulfilling, expressive life. These chapters in The Artist's Way offer valuable insights and practical exercises that guide us towards embracing our inner strength, cultivating self-compassion, establishing healthy boundaries, and maintaining faith in our creative journey. Through this transformative process, we reclaim our artistic identity, tap into our creative potential, and live a more inspired and fulfilling life as artists. 